It happened on August 7th, 2012. I was in Kandahar District, Afghanistan. I was in the foot patrol. I was the point man. He uh, stepped on an improvised explosive device in the ground and immediately lost both of his legs and uh, suffered a traumatic brain injury. Uh, and after that, he uh, spent six months in a coma. When Alex was uh, first injured, they were worried about keeping him alive, and he ended up getting a stage four pressure ulcer, and so he can't sit for long periods of time without severe pain. Um, and so the plane is not ideal, because he has to sit in an upright position for a majority of the plane ride. You know, Alex has got a pretty significant disability, and uh, you know, just getting him out of the house, getting him traveled here, navigating TSA, and uh, Showing up is a, is a large thing. Veterans like Alex and his spouse and caregiver, Kim, they are what drive the VA and DAV in coming back every year in our partnership to deliver the Winter Sports Clinic. <laughs> coming here and seeing other people like him and the struggles that he goes through, I mean, it's just been an amazing experience. Yes. Was it fun? Because you like to go fast yes. down the hills. Like Ricky Bobby, I like to go fast sometimes. <laughs> uh, the biggest surprise. Do you have a biggest surprise? Yes, my, my crash. <laughs> the biggest surprise was your crash? Yes. <laughs> Clinics like this put on by uh, DAV and the VA, um, I think it's wonderful because you're getting um, veterans of all walks of life together and they're doing things that are fun together. <laughs> Alex uh, embodies the spirit of the Winter Sports Clinic, his resiliency and uh, his ability to get out there and do it, even when it's real hard, is the spirit of this event. And, and that's why Alex is our Freedom Award winner this year.